we are down at the new Robo Fitness Olympic Park in Perth. I think it opened about a week ago when I was away in America. So me and Shirley thought we'd come check it out and do some legs. So I've just started squatting again properly. I haven't been squatting for like the last, I don't know, five, six months. Um, just been some kind of different training with prep. But you know what, I'm squatting, so I'm gonna squat again. At the end of the day, you gotta enjoy your training. So I'm just gonna start squatting once a week. Um, today, I'm just focusing on breathing and technique because my lower back's been a little bit tight and actually squatting beltless when my back's tight and going a little bit lighter. So just going to about an eight RPE and I'm just doing three working sets on 75 kilos. And then I'm gonna do an extra set of 12, so higher reps on about 65 kilos because they're feeling pretty good today. Um, and even though they are feeling good, it doesn't mean I'm just gonna go stick my weight on the bar. So the video footage will look pretty easy. That's the goal, I'm just flying back in from America. So I'm gonna go too stupid. And then I'm gonna just do some glute um, accessory work today and a little bit of hammy stuff. And that is it, so enjoy the footage. My final working set where I'm actually doing a higher rep set to finish off. Um, each week I'm going to be increasing the weight for the next few weeks in this block. So this is my first week of training and that's why it looks a little bit easy. My RPs are meant to be a 7 or an 8 and then next week I'll definitely be increasing the weights from here based on how it felt today. It is really good to important, important to focus on progressive overload. You don't need to go super, super heavy every single week. It's just about progressing and also focusing on technique when you're starting a new phase of a training block. On this exercise, you want to make sure that the load stays in your heels. Play around with the foot position that suits you best, where you feel like you can drive through your glutes the most. Keep the knees quite narrow, and the focus is obviously trying to keep constant tension and not locking out too much at the top of the rep. sumo hack squat and what I'm doing is focusing on a low bar squat type position so really pushing the hips back and keeping the load in the heels focusing on the knees pushing out and again not trying to lock out the top and go for a higher rep so 15 to 20 on this movement pattern straight after the Smith Machine squats. You better be there when I shake Watch me rocking if I can't stop If I should fall just go ahead Catch me, baby driving through the heel and extending up. I find angling my body down definitely helps with turning that load off the back and just getting better glute activation overall. You can also start with kneeling on a bench if that helps you a little bit more. 
and I'm supersetting this exercise with a single leg hip thrust. So you want to make sure you're driving all the load through the heel on that as well. And I'm doing about 15 to 20 reps on each exercise here. So on the hip thrust, you want to make sure all the load stays in the heel of the foot, that you have your heel and knee pretty much a straight plane. A lot of people have their foot is way too far out. And that you don't need to actually dip super, super low. It's all about focusing on that contraction at the top of the rep and also making sure that you're not thrusting up too high, that you're just focusing on where you can squeeze the glutes and get that pelvic tuck. a voiceover of some of those exercises that is pretty much it for today so thank you for watching there's a couple of exercises that you won't be able to see i'm going to finish off with a little bit of shoulders and some rope pull throughs and that is pretty much the whole session what do you think of the gym moist it's moist very nice very nice swanky and new and really nice plates nice brand new bars creamy plates. creamy creamy for the hamstrings it's not that's well done. nice so, hope you enjoyed this little workout and I'll chat to you in the next video. See ya.